Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over my April favorites. It is like mid-May and I'm only doing this now, but you know what? It's fine. Psh, it's all good. I have been enjoying a lot of things in April. I've been getting really crafty. I'm actually doing some crafty things to potentially open up a little jewelry slash merch shop, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, I have been enjoying a few other things that we can do inside as that's what we're all being told to do at the moment. So, first off, nail polish. I don't actually know if nail polish is good or not for your nails. I know there's lots of like controversial things on it, but um, I have been quite enjoying doing my nails. It's really relaxing and things speaking of which I need to like redo my nails because it's all chipping off I attempted to do a really cute kind of daisy pattern because I saw on Instagram Aw Sam did it and it looked really cute and then I tried to do it and it turned out like garbage but if you look from far away they're daisies but I have lots and lots of colors I have been loving to do like pastel rainbow so I like using these colors and then I have a really pretty yellow this yellow and then I have a nice pink in here somewhere this pink I like to do rainbow with my colors but I think it's just been so much fun I really like nail polish I like the shiny ones too they're super fun I'm trying to convince my brother to let me do his nails but don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon we'll see if the quarantine keeps going maybe then he'll let me do his nails but if you guys have like any like easy nail polish ideas that I could maybe do because I want some ideas I'm thinking about trying like watermelon I know that's a popular one please feel free to send them to me on Instagram because I am very open to uh, hearing about the cute nails all right so the next baby I can't actually show you guys here in my room so I'm just gonna put a little clip up so this is my bike that I bought early April. It is beautiful. I got it secondhand for $200. In another video, I asked you guys what colors I should paint the bike. I'm leaning towards like a pink and a purple, more on the pastel side, so like pastel pink and lavender, but I'm not too sure yet. So feel free to boop in the comments what you think I should paint my bike. But yes, I did get a bike and I have been riding it to get the feel of riding a bike again. I am super terrified of going downhill still, but it is a beautiful bike and I can't wait to like work on this project. I think we still have like two weeks or so before the stores are gonna start opening up. So it's gonna be a fun little project that I'm excited to work on. But yeah, my bike has definitely been a fun thing to keep me active and outside, so it's definitely a baby. On the anime front, my boyfriend told me about this anime called Love is War, and it's basically about two Sundaries? I think that's what they're called? Uh, but anyways, it's about these two characters, and they're in like the student council, so they're like, super cool because the student council characters are cool anyways so basically they both like each other but the person who confesses first loses so they're constantly trying to get each other into a situation where it would seem like they'll make them confess I'm probably not explaining it and doing it justice anyways it's a pretty good anime and if you guys like like love and funny things I would recommend checking it out apparently it has a second season that just came out so I can just binge up to then or I should just wait for the second season to finish and then just go for it. I love being able to binge things. It's very, very good. Anyways, moving on. So of course, this is kind of like a two part thing because they kind of coincide. We all know that on the internet, what is overtaken right now is Animal Crossing. Of course, that is definitely a favy is the Animal Crossing for the Nina for the Nintendo? For the Nintendo Switch. I got all my like amiibo cards and everything. We love Animal Crossing. It is good. We have our Switch. It is also good. It is pink. But along with my Animal Crossing, what kind of coincides together is my big fluffy poncho, which my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day this early February before everything crazy happened. 
I don't know if any of you guys have gotten those ads for like the Udi on Instagram or Facebook or literally any social media. But that's basically what this is. I don't think it's brand Udi. He said he got it from Amazon, but it's like a pretty bubblegum pink. It's ginormous. Hold on, let me just... Can you see all of it? Can we? It's huge and soft and basically like, I'll just be wearing it and playing Animal Crossing like this. And, and that's, that's pretty much a familiar sight here in my little corner of the world. It's pretty fantastic though. I love it and it's so soft. It's lined with, I don't know if it's a, what is it called? Sher Sherpa? I don't think it's Sherpa, but it's very soft. And I love it. I also have a hot chocolate stain on it right now from earlier. So, I mean, I wear it a lot. It's really, really cute. And you know, you can just get all cozy up and play your Animal Crossing and it's just fantastic and I love it. Speaking of Animal Crossing, and this might just be completely lame and everything, I ordered NFC cards and the lady was super sweet. I got them off Etsy and uh, they looked like the real cards. So I'm like, heck, why not? But they're small. Look how tiny they are and compared to a real card. I just thought that was really cute and I wanted to share that with you guys. But they're adorable. They're like super, super tiny. Like here's, here's what, like, <laughs> look at the little size difference. I think they're so cute. Anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there. I got some for me and then I got some for my brother who's also playing Animal Crossing now. And my boyfriend's about to start playing as well. So I am not going to be talking to like anyone because I'm going to be busy playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> but yeah, Animal Crossing is definitely being a big, big baby this past month. I know a lot of people are using it as a very nice coping mechanism right now because the world is it's falling apart, it feels like, at least. But yeah, Favy. The last Favy I have is scrapbooking. Let me tell you, I have always loved the idea of scrapbooking, and when this started, I was like, heck, I have trips that I have waited like several years, I'm talking like maybe five, six plus years that I needed to scrapbook and I was like, you know what? This is the time. You're gonna do it. You're gonna scrapbook. So I went to my local Michaels, social distancing of course, and uh, picked myself up some gear. Here is the picture of my gear now. <laughs> I bought bins and then some of the paper because they were having a sale and then I bought some scissors super cheap from Walmart tape and then of course I had scissors and glue and everything at home. And of course I started scrapbooking. I am actually planning on doing a scrapbooking video but I just thought I would show you guys one of the ones that's almost complete which is this scrapbook I made for my mom and I's trip that we went on Japan. My mom and I's trip that we went to Japan last year which I put in this super cute sparkly scrapbook which I found at Michael's. They were also having a buy one get one half price so I bought more scrapbooks because I knew I had more trips. But anyways, I thought I would show you guys just a few pages because it's not complete yet but it's still really cute. So dee -dee 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 -dee. as you can see, girl has been working real hard on my scrapbooks. This is super awkward to hold. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. Ooh! Anyways, I'm hoping I'm gonna do a video where I show you guys the finalized scrapbook and film it properly because I still have to put in like the words. I don't know if people do that in scrapbooks or is that photo albums? Photo albums you don't really put words in but I want to put like little snippets of things that we did that day or kind of explain what happened in that scrapbook. So I'm very excited to finish that and hopefully show you guys. But yeah, that is my favies for this month. All right guys, well that is all for this favies videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want, leave in the comments what you guys liked in April, whether it be food, crafts, bikes, scrapbooking, Animal Crossing, I wanna hear it. I wanna know what you guys have been loving and what has been keeping you sane during this weird, weird time. But yeah, <laughs> that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.